You may have heard about some of the health risks associated with plastics in your environment, in your food, in your water, and those microplastics that your body does bioaccumulate, meaning that it has a hard time detoxing and getting rid of some of these microplastics, and they can really linger in your body for long periods of time. Well, this video is all about that exposure and, of course, some tips how to mitigate those risks and decrease your microplastic exposure. Okay, so how do we have this exposure in our homes? Well, do you drink from plastic cups? Are you storing your food in plastic storage containers and putting those worst case scenario into the microwave? Are you drinking from plastic water bottles? Well, these are all exposures of those plastics in your home, something that you definitely want to try to eliminate. And it is something that the body and your internal organs have a difficult time doing it on their own. And that's why my tips now are really going to help you to speed up that detox process for those microplastics and more importantly, decrease your exposure to them in the first place. So my first tip to decrease your plastics exposure is to use glass whenever you can. So if you can start converting over, especially your plastic storage containers that you're using for food in your fridge and in your freezer, start converting over to the glass ones. They are so much better, of course, for your health. Okay, number two is to consider doing a full body detox. Now I have a lot of different detox videos, of course, and educating people how to do that full body detox in a healthy, gentle, and safe way usually you're using a specific combination of herbal medicines that really help to target that detoxification of your internal organs. So your liver, your kidneys, your lungs, your skin, your lymphatic system, and doing that in a safe and gentle way. Okay, number three on my list, another way to eliminate those plastics is to sweat more. So this means more exercise, being more active. Sweating is a great way to eliminate some of the fat soluble toxins that are stored in your fat cells close to the skin surface. And that elimination of these toxins can really be accelerated if you use a sauna. And this is one of the reasons why I love the far infrared sauna in particular. You don't have to set it at such a super high temperature, yet you're still getting the benefits of that far infrared ray that is penetrating deeply beneath the skin surface to help to target that proper elimination of these toxins. Okay, number four on my list and my final tip to help with eliminating these plastics, especially from your body, is to make sure you're taking care of your gut microbiome. Now this is interesting because some studies, and we'll look at one here, has found a link between your gut microbiome and the ability to actually eliminate some microplastics. And it was found that specific strains of probiotics, so some of my favorites are Lactobacillus acidophilus, another one is Bifidobacterium bifidum. These strains of probiotics, because they are more negatively charged on their surface, can actually help to bind those microplastics and move them out through your digestive tract, as we can see in this literature. So it really is promising to know that yes, you can do some natural things. Number one, eliminate your exposure as much as you can to the microplastics, but also do some things actively to detoxify them out of your body. Now for more tips on how to do that full body detox, please check out my video, seven tips for detox. I'll see you there.